right, so we got our list email sent out. Let's talk a little bit about our email preference center. Uh, as you know, within Pardot, each email either has to have an unsubscribe link so the prospect can unsubscribe directly from all lists, or it has to have a link to the email preference center. If we're going to send them to the email preference center, we need to know how to populate the email preference center, and we also need to know how to customize and design the email preference center. So where does the email preference center live? If we go down to marketing, emails, and then preference page, we'll notice that we do have our default email preference page. This is what's going to be based on your templates if you add in a preference page, or if you're using one of Pardot's templates, it'll automatically add in the default email preference center tag. So if we go ahead and look at the link for our email preference center, I do have two lists. One's a dynamic list, so only people who are in that list will be able to see it. And one is a static list, so anyone can either put themselves into that list or remove themselves out of that list. So let's go ahead and look at what our email preference center looks like. So it's pretty boring, let's be honest. <laughs> There's no design here, um, and we just have our announcements and save preference center. So if I went ahead and added in my email, and we have Kelly at metermarketing.com, and I wanna add in for announcements. So I'm gonna go ahead and save preferences. And we get a little notification that says your email preferences have been saved, you're now subscribed to announcements. So what if I want to change some of that text or what if I just want to change the design of what my email preference center looks like? Let's go ahead and dig in a little bit deeper. Click on the name of the default email preference page. What lists are available on this preference page, which we have our dynamic list and our static list. And within here, we can also preview what the page looks like with the dynamic list if we're not, at, if we're not in the dynamic list. So let's go ahead and click this link. And so we can see here, here's that dynamic list right here. So this is what the preference page looks like for someone who may be a part of this dynamic list and the announcements. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out. So if I wanna edit this preference page, we can edit what campaign we can edit the campaign of the preference page. We can edit the layout template. This is where we're gonna have the design of the email preference page. And we're gonna get into layout templates a little bit later, but this is where you would change what the layout looks like. And we can also add a vanity URL. So if we wanted to add go.kellymetter forward slash pref, we could use that as our vanity URL so people can get to our preference page. If we expand the form content, you have full use of your WYSIWYG editor. You can add in your images, you can change what type of text you want here, you can bold it, etc. We also have after form content. So what does that mean? If we look right here, and let me go back. Here's the after form content. So this is going to be right in this area. So if I choose right here and we want to say we will never sell your email and we respect your privacy. So when we update this page, we will now have this after form content. We can change the name of the email label. That's right here. We can change the name of the email error. So if we don't put in our email address, we can put please input a valid email address. The unsubscribe link text, so opt out of all email communications, we'll see that right here as a link. So if our prospects come to our email preference page and they're like, you know what, I just wanna opt out of all emails, they can click on that right here and it will opt them out of all emails. The confirm unsubscribe text, if we went and we hit this link, opt out of all email communications, this is the confirmation we get. Are you sure you wanna opt out of all future email communications? say, nope, I'm not really sure I want to do that. And then we can also change the Save Preferences button. So if you wanted to put Submit instead of Save Preferences, you can do that as well. So what happens after someone has went ahead and selected additional lists or even opted out of our list? So we can say your email preferences have been saved. Thank you. And then we can also have our opt-in message, you're now subscribed to, or you're now opted out of. You can go ahead and change what that message is going to say here. And we can go ahead and hit save. So if we refresh our page, here is our after form, we'll never sell your email and we respect your privacy. If I go ahead and hit save preferences, 
your email preferences have been saved. Thank you. So that's how we edit our email preferences page. Again, when we're looking for the design of our email preference page, we're gonna do that by changing our layout template. And we'll get into layout templates in a different section in this series. So besides our email preferences page, we also have a email unsubscribe page. We can find that if we go to our marketing tab, emails, and then unsubscribe page. I'll be honest, there's not a lot we can do with our unsubscribe page. Pardot is very strict with unsubscribes and respecting the wishes for our prospects to be unsubscribed from our emails. But let's go ahead and hit edit. You can change opening content. Uh, this basically means if someone gets to your unsubscribe page, instead of them unsubscribing um, forever, you can say, are you sure you want to whoops, unsubscribe? Why not watch a video of these corgis instead? And I could go ahead and put in a YouTube, whoops, let me change that. And I can go ahead and put in a YouTube embed code of my corgis, for instance, right in here. All right, so I have some code for the embed code for the corgis, and I'm gonna put it right in between this paragraph tag. There's my YouTube embed code. All right, are you sure you want to unsubscribe? Why not watch a video of these corgis instead? Let's go ahead and hit save. And so let's go ahead and look at our unsubscribe page. And we have here, are you sure you wanna unsubscribe? Why not watch a video of these corgis instead? And then here's the corgi video, and then people can resubscribe here. Once they're resubscribed, it'll say you have successfully resubscribed to email communications. And again, we could go ahead and change that. There we go. And let's hit save. If we go back to our unsubscribe page, this is one area where we can look at all of the unsubscribes here. And we can also see when where they unsubscribed at. So if it was from an email um, and what email it was. So we'll be able to see all of our unsubscribed prospects right here.